just shits me. I um I come down Lions Road to uh, do a bit of filming and show you guys. I've just come back from the Africa Twin Rally up at Kenilworth and I thought I'll come home via Lions Road. I was gonna do some filming at the rally but it was just so dusty. We had about 21 bikes there so it's, um, there was plenty of dust, there was plenty of other guys filming anyway, so I figured I'll just leave it to them. But I thought I'll, um, I want to try out my new comms system and, uh, see if I've got this thing right. But yeah, I've just been talking for the last 10 minutes, telling you how good I was. Doing big wheelies, slideys around the corners. <laughs> no. And, uh, look, just looked in the mirror, and the GoPro was off. So that's a pain in the bum, but anyway. So we're at the uh, we're at the backside of uh, Lions Road now, sort of getting into Summerland Way. But there'll be other times. I'll show you another time. It's a uh, gorgeous place in here at Lions Road. It's a big hump in the centre of the road here. I uh, I ride this road probably uh, once to twice a week, sometimes a little bit more. But I've been doing it for a fair few years now, so. Um, I've pretty much got this road nutted, knowing all the corners and what to expect. Yeah, so uh, back to the AT rally. Um, like I said, there was about 21 bikes there. We had uh, a couple of old Africas, I think RD07s turned up, and uh, we also had the new Africa Twin Adventure Sport. Uh, that was brought down by Pro Motorcycles. Uh, oh, I can't remember, I think it's Marucci, or anyway. Uh, they turned up with a brand new bike, it was only a couple of days old. So uh, lots of the guys got to uh, test ride it, put it through its paces um, on the dirt, and from all feedback, uh, everybody thinks it was fantastic. Suspension was really, really good. Uh, the bike's pretty much the same as the uh, latest, uh, the last couple of Africa Twins. It carries its weight really well. But it's got a, uh, about an inch and, inch and a bit uh, longer travel, uh, travel suspension. And what the boys were saying, that it tends to sit higher in the stroke. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just a lot better. I never actually rode the bike. Not that I wasn't offered a ride, but um, mate, I'm not going to buy it. So I really don't want to ride bikes that I don't, don't intend to buy because uh, yeah, it just makes me want to go and buy one and then I'll have to go back and get a full-time job again, and I'm really not interested in that, and I'm pretty happy with this bike anyway, so. But yeah, I did have a good look around it. I never took any photos. Other guys have got all the photos and stuff like that, but it's a gorgeous looking bike with a white frame, and uh, they had the tri-color uh, manual, it was, so. Yeah, it's very, very nice. I was very impressed. I did sit on it. Um, I do like it. But that was enough for me. I even said to the dealer then, um, I won't be going for a ride. And he said, why is that? He said, because I don't want to be uh, putting my other bike down and then having to go and get a full-time job to uh, purchase this one. Uh, so we're back on the line. Uh, Summerland Way now, just heading into Kyogle. So yeah, we uh, stick to the speed limit along here. It's in, in Lions Road, it's, um, it's, a, it's a ride to the condition speed limit. But I think um, that also means that it's 100 km an hour max. But you've got the black circle with a lot, you know, the black circle with a black line across it. And from where I come from, like up in the Territory and that, that just meant open speed limit. But I think I've been informed that that's not actually the case anymore. But it's right to the conditions, so. I think a right to the conditions means get stuck into it and go like the clappers. <laughs> It's about um, 47 kilometres from basically the beginning of Lyons Road through to Summerland Way. So yeah, I'll, oh, I won't say sort of my speeds, time's getting through there because I might get myself into trouble, but I can get along pretty quick in there. So if anyone's up to uh, post up a fantastic time that they've done through Lyons Road, let me know and I'll let you know if I've beat you or not. But uh, what a fantastic weekend weather-wise. It's beautiful, like we're in autumn now. It's just riding season. Everywhere you go, there's bikes. You know, there's bikes on the road, like this guy up here, there's bikes on the back of Utes, the back on the trailers. 
just everybody's pulling their bikes out now to go riding because uh, yeah, during the summer months it's just too hot. But now we're just in perfect, perfect weather. It's beautiful. It's just Blake's trailer's got a bit of a sway up. Oh, oil spill. Where the bloody hell's that? Oh, yep, just there. Probably not a real good thing having an oil spill on this road because it's uh, pretty popular with the bike riders. Hopefully nobody's hurt themselves on that corner over the last couple of days if it's been there since uh, the beginning of the weekend. Uh, my bike's filthy, it's just as you can see, it's covered in dust. There's dust everywhere. I'm covered in dust. So that's what happens when you get uh, into a big organised ride, you know. Hadn't had any rain up there for a long time. And uh, yeah, so it's very dusty. No wind, so it just settles and hangs in the air. Alright, we're just coming to Dai Rabba. This is Dai Rabba Road, this is the last bit of dirt uh, that'll do before we get home. It's a, um, it's a real bugger of a road in the afternoon too because the sun's just punching you in the face as we head west. But uh, yeah, this is my last little bit before I get home, back onto the uh, Bruxner Highway. It's a bit of a shortcut from uh, Kyogle. One of the many pleasures that I get living down in northern New South Wales. We've got plenty of good roads. Good, uh, good scenic roads anyway, not good condition roads. They're pretty atrocious, but as for scenery and stuff, they're really, really good. And, uh, ooh, the corrugations. And uh, this is not a bad little road in itself, just cruising through here. Uh, if you want to check out that Africa Twin Rally and uh, get some, have a look at some of the footage that was taken, uh, Big Bike Adventures on YouTube, just type that in there. And uh, Steve has uh, got plenty of uh, plenty of good uh, footage there, I'm sure. He spends a bit of time trying to uh, get himself to make, uh, make a few nice videos. He's, he's quite good at it too, which is makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, Brendan also, um, I can't, sorry Brendan if you're watching this, but I can't bloody remember your YouTube name. You've got to make an easy YouTube name, Brendan. It's bloody horrible. But uh, yeah, he's also got a uh, uh, Mavic, Mavic drone, so they had a couple of them going. So hopefully uh, uh, Brendan and uh, Big Bike Adventures will uh, get some good footage of the Africa Twin Rally. So we've been talking, we're thinking about uh, making it a bit of a, an annual event. So um, that was just a bit of a test run, I, I think, uh, which was really well organised. The guys put a lot of effort into it. Um, yeah, and everybody had a great time. So uh, now that the guys, they sort of all know where I live and the areas that I live. So they're all pretty much onto me over the weekend saying, righto, I'm next. So it looks like... Uh, about this time next year, I think um, I'll put a bit of a rally together and for the Africa Twins and we'll get them all down there. Hopefully, um, yeah, it, it grows a bit of momentum, you know, and, and gets bigger and better. Not that we're trying to copy the BMW Cruise or the KDM thing, but it's just a um, bunch of like-minded people getting together with their bikes, you know, that are all similar or same. and. Uh, it's really good because you get to look at everybody's different setups and you can see what works, you know, like there's a lot of things that I'd like to buy that I've seen on the net and um, but you really don't know what it's going to be like until it sort of turns up in the mail. Well, this is a really good chance to uh, have a look at all the different stuff that's out and available because between most of the blokes they've pretty much covered all the uh, aftermarket parts. so. Yeah, it was quite good to um, to have a look at the, everybody's different setups and what what would work, what doesn't work. You know, everybody's opinions on the uh, on the different products. So yeah, there was a lot of um, a lot of standing around the bikes and everybody discussing different options and and such. So yeah, it was quite enjoyable that part of it. I really really enjoyed that. 
And like I said, yeah, meeting all the, uh, putting faces to the names of the people that you um, talk with online, which was pretty cool. Some really nice caves. It's probably a little bit hard with the GoPro, I'll slow down so you can have a look. Um, just there, you see the rocky outcrop. There's um, yeah, some nice little caves and that in there. I'd like to go and have a bit of a look, but it's um, it's somebody's property. But I don't want to get caught in there and get into trouble. But yeah, there's a good one there, and there's another really, really good one just in there. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'd love to uh, I'd love to own a block of land, a big block of land like that, and with uh, have a few caves on it. That'd be pretty pretty nifty. the thing they'll line up. The gravel's so loose through here. Yeah, it's about 95 horsepower on these bikes. It doesn't take much to get that rear wheel to um, light up. And then they just snake, you know, you can see it then. It's just, yeah, it's good fun though. I enjoy it. So yeah, have a look if, you, um, if you're watching this video and you want to know where this road is, uh, just search uh, Dai Rabba. So it's D-Y-R a double A B A Di Rabba Road um, near Kyogle. If you put in Kyogle on the Di Rabba Road, you'll um, you'll find this road. There's a couple of little. Uh, oh, we passed one not long ago, but uh, you can turn right and that'll take you up into uh, Tunamar Dam and stuff, and into the back of Yabra Forest and everything. Or you can keep going around and it'll take you up onto Richmond Range, Cambridge Plateau. And here we are, we're just coming up to the end of Die Rabba Road now, onto the uh, Bruxner Highway. And this is probably where I'll love yous and leave yous after I've been dribbling, dribbling me shit that I do. Put her out onto the tunnel here. Alright guys, uh, thanks, thanks very much for watching. I'll talk to you soon guys, later.